All right, guys, we're here with my friend Jared. Say hi, Jared. Hello. One of the Bucky's cult followers. Go ahead and start it up. All right. 1974. All right, that's good. Turn it off. Get out. We can start talking about it. Oh, and this damn light. Here, turn that off. There we go. There. That, and I gotta tie my damn shoelace. Hold on. Jared, let's move the van out of the way. Let me get the jumper cables off of it here. Anyway, my buddy's got a 1974 Cadillac Eldorado station wagon. Okay. 100% original. And to the best of my knowledge, intact, save for that tire needs some air. And y'all just heard it run. Um, but we're going, he gets out of the van, we're going to talk a little bit about it. And uh, maybe tour the inside. What happened? I don't know, it sounded like I was dragging something. Oh. Well, are you dragging something? Okay. Well, let's come talk about this thing real quick. Tell me what you know. <coughs> what all can you tell me? How many miles on it? 78,000 miles, 74 El Dorado. Right? Okay. And, and apparently in this color, there was, what I found was there was 11 made. In this color? I think so. And there was two, I just heard a couple years ago, there was this one and one other one left. In of this the, color? Of the 11, yeah. Okay. How many total, any idea? Because, because, because Cadillac didn't make a station wagon. This is a coach built. Right. Modified. Yeah. But it was ordered from a dealer. Yes? Apparently, no? Apparently, yeah. Okay. And didn't you tell me that uh, Elvis Presley owned one? I think Elvis and some of the, maybe a couple of guys from the Rat Pack. Maybe on this, the Memphis this, Mafia or the Rat Pack? The Rat Pack. Okay. Yeah. So Las Vegas. Yes. Okay. It, that's the word. I, I'm not positive. Right. But that's the word. That this is, these guys had these custom built. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, it, they went straight from the Cadillac factory to the to the coach builder. Yes, yes. Okay, and, and like he just drove in off the street and said, "Hey, turn this into a station wagon." That or either the yeah, or either okay. the dealer had them sent out and done. All right. Any idea on the uh, name of the coach builder? No. Okay. All right. Have you ever drove it? No. No. Okay. But the story goes that uh, the gentleman that owned the car passed away and his daughter inherited it. And I've been snooping around and to the best of my knowledge, this thing looks 100% original. Okay, the, uh, yeah. Amazing thing is the anodized still on the uh proportioning valve there uh there's just so many so many surprises under this hood and around this car 
uh, like the red ground cable. That's <laughs> <laughs> which uh, I screwed up and didn't look hard enough at the cables, and we we probably cooked the alternator. But you just seen it running. A little bit of rust right here. This is all vinyl. This whole roof is vinyl. But how can I put it? It's it's not bad. But the thing is, we it's being stored in this spot right here. Okay, and you already seen the right side of it. And this isn't a good spot, so you and your girlfriend are trying to sell the car? Yeah, I think she's going to sell it. Okay, looking to sell the car. The interior needs a little bit of cleanup, but otherwise I would consider it immaculate. The, uh, the headliner is intact. I don't see any rips or tears in the seat. Um, to take to get in here. Got a little bit of antifreeze, which is understandable. Oh, here's your spare. Here's your piece right here. There's that piece right there. Yeah, I knew it was somewhere. Okay. So, so yes, 100% intact car. Nice ashtrays, lighter missing. But, uh, yeah, this thing needs some love. And it does run. Although it's got a fuel delivery issue and needs an alternator, so. And I'm so sorry about that. That's all right. Okay. All right, Jared. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Talk to you later.